wrote this before the panel, so <laughs> now that I know that um, we have a new member, I actually, it's more significant. In a show where naming names and identity is so important, is there significance to the fact that we now have two regular members who are named Samantha, neither who seem to identify as such, one rather vehemently? It's my daughter's name. Perhaps we grew too fond of it. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, what you know, right? <laughs> Next question. Thank you very much. You guys are amazing. I will say that this is the only show that if I watch it without my husband, we're going to have issues. So <laughs> this is a family affair at the Grant household. And my husband's in the military and he really identifies with your character, Jim. I mean, he really just, he calls himself Mr. Reese around the house now. It's kind of scary. <laughs> at least you're attractive, so it's helpful for me. <laughs> Sorry, um, so my question is for Amy and Sarah. You guys are such strong women. Taraji is such a strong woman. The Fixer is such a strong woman. Do you guys feel like you're role models in this great role that they write for you and just being strong women and really kind of showing us what we can do? Because you're tiny, but you're scary, Amy. Uh, yes. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think it's incredibly important to, um, you know, I mean, I don't know if I am a role model, but that would be nice and, and I hope I'm setting a good example and you know it's one of those things I feel like in, in Hollywood and, and not just in Hollywood but really just in the world I mean there are places where women are, are not equals and treated as second-class citizens all the time and and just disregarded and so I think it's it's the plight of women you know internationally really it's it's our it's our job to um, represent ourselves in the highest light that we possibly can and and you know, and thank God that I've been given this opportunity to play this role. She is as strong as she is, and and um, I think we've just kind of touched on everything that she can do. I think she can do a lot more, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I I hope I'm a role model, and I hope I'm a good one at that. You know, an excellent one who shoots people. <laughs> uh, Jonah, uh, you mentioned Facebook earlier. You guys have a. Wait, can Amy uh, answer that question? Can, <laughs> I, I was just going to say one other thing is the great thing that Jonah and Greg have done is also put together an amazing writing staff, and there's some really wonderful female writers on the staff. And yes, yes, I think yes. that that helps a lot. Amanda Siegel. <laughs> So, John, to talk about the app a little bit, you guys, you guys have a special app out now on Facebook, the uh, oh, part of the machine. Just, just quickly, wanted to mention in, in, uh, uh, in keeping with the strong women of our cast and team here, Taraji sends her best. She is at a charity event in the East Coast and couldn't make it out to join us. She says, hello. And she is always great on the show. Yeah. Uh, are we wrapping it up? Yeah, we're wrapping, we're wrapping it up, up, I think. Sadly. Uh, thank you guys again for coming out. Uh, we... we uh, to celebrate the fact that the show is, is now finally online, uh, the sort of profound irony of this show not being available <laughs> on the internet, which we enjoyed for two years. Uh, we have some fun, fun surprises in store. I don't want to tip them completely too much, but, but uh, take a look at our Facebook page. You know, you guys watch us. We want to start watching you guys a little bit without, without the help of the NSA. Um, so keep, keep your eyes peeled. Well, thanks, thanks to everybody for coming. Thanks for the cast Thank and guys. crew. Thanks for a great show. And uh, you have changed your night. Now you're Tuesdays at 10 on CBS. Thank you, everybody.